morning ladies you are listening to reading friday mark chapter 1 so why don't you grab your coffee sit back open your bible this is elohim i me podcast hey it's linda and welcome to elohim i me podcast if you want to hear how god is with all of us all the time then this is your podcast it's going to be the longest journey showing you how lord jesus christ can transform motivate guide carry all of us and hey following his ways is freedom do you want to know how stay tuned with me for more and this is me making my childhood dream of sharing the word of god with the world and i hope it helps and if you want to learn even more hit the links in the description after the episode or just google its lenslife.com now let's dive in good morning lovely ladies we should start by saying a thanks right now to our lord jesus christ because we have finished 11 books from new testament so far thank god i hope you have read acts acts of apostles book of acts of apostles with me so yesterday you should have completed so today we are going to begin with the new book that is mark the gospel according to mark so just open your bible to the book of mark chapter 1 so we are going to start reading um mark for now for this month onwards from today onwards so let's uh, start reading open your bible to mark chapter 1 mark chapter 1 the beginning of the gospel of jesus christ the son of god as it is written in the prophets behold i sent my messenger before thy face which shall prepare thy way before thee the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare ye the way of the lord make his paths straight john did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins and there went out unto him all the land of judah and they of jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of john Jordan confessing their sins and John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a skin about his, about his loins and he did eat locusts and wild honey and preached saying there cometh one mightier than I after me the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose I indeed have baptized you with water but he shall baptize you with the holy ghost. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straight way coming up out of the water he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying thou art my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and immediately the spirit driveth him and into the wilderness and he was there in the wilderness 40 days tempted of satan and was the was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered unto him now after that john was put in prison jesus came into galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of god and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel now as he walked by the sea of galilee he saw simon and andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishers and jesus said unto them come ye after me and i will make you to become fishers of men and straightway they forsook their nest and followed him and when he had gone a little farther than hence he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother who also were in the ship mending their nest and straightway he called them and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him and they went into Capernaum and straightway on the sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught 
And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and cried out, saying, Let us alone. Where, what have we done to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, they do obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon, Andrew, Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And at even when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were deceased, and them that were possessed with devils. <clears throat> And all the city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into the solitary place, and there prayed, and Simon and they that were with him followed after him and when they had found him they said unto him all men seek for thee and he said unto them let us go into the next towns that i may preach there also and therefore came i forth and he preached in their synagogues throughout all galilee and cast out devils and there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, he was cleansed. And, straight, and he straightly charged him, and forth with send him away and said unto him see thou say nothing to any man but go thy way shew thyself to the priest and offer for thy cleansing those things which moses commanded for a testimony unto them but he went out and began to publish it much and to place abroad the matter in so much that jesus could no more openly enter into the city but was without in desert places and they came to him from every quarter what a chapter right this is where the jesus started his ministry i love this chapter and i also uh, love how amazing powerful he is and it's so wonderful that how his disciples just follow him for his come on when jesus said come on they're like okay here i come <laughs> who can we do in the present situation i don't think that we will have that mindset to just go it takes a lot of process but it's so amazing right anyways i love to i love this chapter i mean uh, yeah this chapter i hope you have read mark chapter 2 with me let us continue reading let us keep going with um, next chapter from tomorrow onwards and um, i will see all of you uh, on next reading with the um, um, representative chapter i hope that will be mark chapter 8 uh, but let us continue read um my mark chapter two uh, tomorrow and onwards as of 
i hope you are also reading the bible with me and i hope you are also going to finish the book of new testament mostly probably by the mid year of 2021 and then let's crush the goal of finishing reading the bible daily yes yes ladies i hope you are with me and remember god is with you and me all the time this is elohim i me podcast joshua 1:9 be strong and courageous do not be frightened or dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go you might have doubts you might have troubles but the woman who fears the lord is to be praised this is elohim i me podcast Thank you.